Since our soldiers occupy themselves with humanitarian tasks to help our distressed communities, be it at mass screening public health and care facilities, at water-starved localities where our engineers purify and distribute water, and at the South African social security agencies, giving relief to grant payouts. We are assured of your support, the Hindu people and the people of the province. And we want to say to you again, thank you for your support. It is also reassuring that our partners in faith, you have committed yourselves in communicating with our soldiers in your own way in order our soldiers to be able to amplify lockdown regulation compliance, social distancing, and application of basic hygiene protocols to ward off this life-threatening disease. The SANDF, in particular, the chaplain service, as the People's Defense Force, comprises sons and daughters of our nation is tirelessly putting their lives also in the line of death for the oath that they have taken that we will risk our lives even in these times as soldiers. When I come also to the issue of soldiers, we lost almost three soldiers in the line of duty, not due coronavirus, but due to the trucks that have rolled over our soldiers in these roadblocks, the cars that could not stop and ran over our soldiers. So we also want to send our heartfelt condolences to the members of the SANDF especially to their families, about those soldiers whom we lost in the line of duty. The chief of the National Defense Force, who is the commander of our, from our forces, greatly appreciates the support by our country religious communities and believe that South Africa will emerge victorious in the battle of this COVID-19. Unity of the effort and solidarity are key. The SANDF also urges the vulnerable senior citizens and those who have chronic diseases within our communities to exercise extra caution and make all means necessary to avoid the infection. This is crucial time. As the SANDF we join the faith community in prayer for the safety and health of our soldiers and our citizens to beat this coronavirus. And as our soldiers interact with our communities, we know and understand their responsibilities. It is to support our nation. And therefore, we also send a strong message to our soldiers to treat our people with respect, with human dignity that they deserve, and with utmost care to ensure that we navigate this challenge posed by this deadly dangerous disease as our nation is battling with it. With that one common purpose, united in our diversity, we will pass this problem. All these things will go past. And this is the time that faith groups must be visible and assist our people during this time. You have heard in the Eastern Cape and also in the Western Cape, how our people died within seven days because of behavioral patterns, because of ethical 
problems and because of value-based uh, morals that are breaking our nation. Faith groups, this is the time for us to go out and practice our ministry by presence. It is not the time to sit in our synagogues and churches and leave our people as they continuously dying. We need to go out and assist our people and practice and assist and preach the gospel of how to look after ourselves. Since the decision announced by the President of the Republic of South Africa on the 27th of March 2020 to put the country into lockdown, the Hindu Advisory Board has taken note of, firstly, the efficient and diligent deployment of military personnel to assist and manage the lockdown, the extreme conditions that the members of the South African National Defense Force have and continue to endure in enforcing the lockdown regulations, the humane and sensitive manner in which the South African National Defense Force members have conducted themselves in discharging their duties, the discipline and dedication displayed at all times during the lockdown period, the South African National, South African National Defense Force Hindu Advisory Board expresses its sincere gratitude and appreciation to the South African National Defense Force members for their courageous and unwavering efforts in protecting and serving the citizens of South Africa. This communication will be disseminated to all Hindu religious organizations with an earnest request to all members of the said organizations to respect, assist, and adhere to the instructions given by all South African National Defense Force members during the course of their lockdown duties. We pray for your safety and health and look forward to your continued loyalty and devotion.